Okay. You know, people get a bit confused about uh, alkaline water and I'd like to dispel the myth this morning about what it really means, alkaline water, because we really do have two sorts of alkaline water that you see on the market. There are the filters that are trying to be ionizers and there are the ionizers. Now the filters that are trying to be ionizers are saying, well we add alkaline minerals to our water and that's okay. Uh, and then the, there are the ionizers like ours which take the acid out of the water and ionize and therefore alkalize the water. Now I'm not going to try and confuse you here but probably the easiest example is this scruffy looking um, parsley plant. Now, we all know that when we're growing things, you're going to get the best out of your plant if you add the right minerals. And it's similar to the body. However, what would you do if you added a certain number of minerals and it didn't work, and then you added some more minerals to make it work, and then that didn't work, so you added some more minerals? You'd have a mineral overloaded plant and it'd probably die of toxicity. Similar thing with the body. And I've read this book a couple of months ago, Building Bone Vitality, by uh, Dr. Amy, Amy Joy Lanou. Amazing book, because what she did was she studied the 1,200 available calcium supplement studies in the world, from all over the world, and she did what she calls a meta-study. It means it looks at each study, and as you know, many studies are there to support products, etc., etc., or they have their other reasons. A meta-study weighs each study by uh, a kind of a scholastic index to get an overall average. Guess what she found? Of the 1,200 studies, on a two-for-one ratio, it showed that calcium supplements don't work. Now, this gave her a tremendous shock but she, she went a bit further and she looked for answers. And what she found was that what we are doing, rather like the plant here, is overloading ourselves with acid. And the way we overload ourselves with acid, and here's the, the view thing, she did a graph of where bone hip fractures, etc., occur geographically. And it's the countries like ours where we have great access to high quality meat and dairy products where the hip fractures are occurring. Now why is that? That doesn't make sense. Dairy products, good for you. Okay. If you take a steak today and you gobble it down, loving it, beautiful steak, you load your, your blood with amino acids. You absolutely load it up and your blood just goes, oh my God, I need calcium really quickly. Unfortunately, because it's a siege situation, it pulls the calcium out of your bones. And this is why uh, in Australia we have a veritable plague of osteoporosis. Now, you would say, therefore, I've got to add calcium to it. No, in the countries where they had access to cal calcium supplements, they found the worst hip fractures. Now, how can that be? The problem is that you pull so much calcium out of your bones, you can't use it, you end up peeing half of it out along with the amino acids. And we've seen this with people who've done their pH test, and they've said, well, you know, it looks okay, but I feel terrible. My pH is, is at a good reading. Yes, it's because you've got calcium in your urine and you've got acids in your urine neutralizing out. Similar thing with the body. If you have an excess of something, our idea is that we'll just add more, rather like the plant. We'll add more and more and more and more until we get the balance right. Well, this is rather like alkaline water and alkaline ionized water because alkaline water is your ordinary water with your ordinary minerals including your calcium, magnesium, your potassium, sodium, everything else, your chlorine, your fluoride, everything else added to it or supercharged or overloaded with extra calcium minerals. Your alkaline ionized water on the other hand is in a form where you are getting the result of adding calcium or magnesium to your body. The result is that your blood gets an abundance of negative hydrogen ions. Now, this might be a little bit hard to grasp for you at the start, and I hope you get it, and I hope it doesn't sound too technical, but we have a calcium buffer in our body, not for the calcium itself, but we have it so that the blood can maintain the right pH. What does pH mean? It means the number of hydrogen ions in the blood, not the amount of calcium, okay? So we are supplying hydrogen ions in abundance with alkaline ionized water, but we are not supplying what has already 
already been proven in a two-for-one study not to be applicable, which is an abundance of calcium. Now this is a major, major difference and it's why water ionizers have been so popular in Japan for the last 30 years. They've, they are in 20% of Japanese homes right now and Japan is a place which has uh, ideas and health, health uh, technologies which interestingly enough aren't even looked at by the West and here we are. So, summarising, alkaline water and alkaline ionised water is not the same and alkaline water, ionised water like I've been drinking for the last ten, 10 years gives the body what it needs in antioxidant, anti-inflammation form. I love it. Have a great day and keep alkalizing. Hi, Ian again, just for a couple of minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video and got uh, something of benefit from it. If you like what you see and you'd like to go further with it and you're thinking about an alkalizer, just remember this month, February, until the end of the month, you can get an Alfion and we'll throw in an Alkaway juicer for $5. You heard it, $5, but that's only till the end of the month. Okay, see you again. Happy alkalizing.